So, in this video, we're going to illustrate the software development process. We'll begin with an editor. And the editor is going to create our source code, our program. And then we'll use the compiler to build to build the object code. The object code can be loaded into a simulator for testing, or it could be loaded into the real board, the real target, for testing and deployment. Okay, we see that there are two testing steps. We will test in the simulator, and we will test in the real target. The Kyle Microvision is an integrated development environment which will combine the editor, the compiler, and the simulator. Okay. Let's illustrate this sequence with an existing system, the pointer traffic light. In the Kyle IDE, we're going to edit the code. Next, we will build it, which is compiling. To download it onto the board, we'll hit the download button. But let's show you the hardware first. We've built the hardware up. There's a launch pad, the Stellaris launch pad. And on the proto board, we have the circuits. And this is my simulated traffic light. I have a red, yellow, green for one direction, and red, yellow, green in the other direction, and two car sensors. So the next step will be to download it. And over here on Kyle, if I hit the download button, code is programmed onto the microcontroller. We will debug it by running the Kyle debugger. So in the Kyle debugger, I can do many things. And we'll teach you that uh, as we go along. But for now, I'm just going to run it. And so now, looking back at the board again, we see that the traffic light is running. And I hit the sensor in this direction, and we see the car. We see that the light will change so the cars can go. So in summary, we use the Kyle IDE to edit, we download, we debug. As we go forward, we'll take this breadboard system, move it aside, and then develop a more sophisticated printed circuit version of it. There's the microcontroller. And the final deployment of the system will include power, display, and we'll put the whole thing in a box. And this is what it means to be embedded. We're going to put the system in a box now. And once we've embedded the system, we see the computer is hidden inside. 